Hi, it's Susan with Perfectly Placed and I'm doing a makeover project today with my daughter. Um, we're going to be doing some painting. She bought a dresser for her apartment and um, it was painted and didn't have a good seal on it. So we're going to paint it a different color and uh, we'll show you the process as we go. Thanks. Okay, so we've done two coats already on the dresser and um, just a couple things about chalk paint is um, I love chalk paint for several reasons. One is that it dries very quickly and the other is that it's very forgiving. So if you get any drip marks or it's a little too heavy, you can easily, once it's dry, just sand it down. So we're waiting for it to dry now and there aren't any special instructions on painting. You can paint with chalk paint just, just the same way that you would paint anything else with latex paint. You do want to use um, a roller on a large surface so you don't get as many brush marks and things like that. And we'll be back when we're ready to wax. Okay, now that your paint is dry, if you want to do distressing, this is the time you're gonna do that. And if you do, you're gonna wanna just take your sandpaper and lightly um, sand along the edges. Um, and then it's gonna give you that distressed look. And once you've distressed everything, then you're gonna wanna vacuum and then wipe down with a soft, very damp cloth. In this case, Laura doesn't want to um, have any distressing, so it's saving us a whole step. Um, so you have two choices of how to seal um, after, after um, using chalk paint. You can either use a wax, um, something like this, or you can use a coat of um, polyurethane, and um, they do make a matte finish in the poly. Um, but if you're gonna do something that has like a, a high trafficking, like kitchen cabinets or something, you definitely wanna do several coats of poly. In this case, it's a dresser. Um, it doesn't, you know, get tons and tons of use or, or dirty, you know, anything like that. So we're just gonna do the wax because it's a little easier. So you need to have a round brush, something that looks like this. Um, you dip it in the wax and then you can do this um, on a paint tray or like a paper plate would work fine. You're just gonna kind of get some of it off like that. And then you're just gonna start going like this in a circular motion um, all along the area and just work your way like this. Okay, once you've gotten the wax on, if you feel it, you're gonna notice it feels kind of sticky and yucky. And so this is the last step. And you're just gonna take a soft rag and you're gonna buff it. And you're just gonna rub it in like this. You can't rub too hard, it's not gonna rub off. If it's still sticky, then just keep rubbing, okay? Once you rub it and buff it, it should feel nice and smooth. And that's the last step. Okay, we have a final product. The wax is on, everything's been buffed so that will, your furniture will be protected. We put the knobs back on and we are excited to be finished with this project. Thanks for watching.